Hey, my name's Mitch and I just had meniscus surgery, a meniscectomy to be exact. So I had to be at the surgical center at 6.30 a.m., which means I woke up at 5.30 a.m. It's 5.30 a.m. on February 1st. Happy Black History Month and happy surgery day. When I got to the center, I had to fill out a bunch of paperwork. I must have signed my name like 25 times. About five minutes after filling out all that paperwork, a nurse called me into the prep area. I had to change into a hospital gown and I got an IV hooked up to my arm. After the nurse hooked up my IV, she had to shave my left leg, which is the leg where I got surgery. And after that, the anesthesiologist came into the room to just go over some basic questions with me. After he left, my surgeon came in and he pretty much just gave me one last rundown of what was about to happen before I was brought into the surgical room. So like I mentioned earlier, I got a meniscectomy, which is pretty much an operation to clean out my knee where the meniscus was torn. The way my surgeon explained it, the medial meniscus in my left leg was torn and flipped. And because it was flipped, I had this catching sensation in my knee that forced me to limp whenever I had to walk. Here's what the surgeon told me after he took a look at my MRI results. So the surgery was necessary to get me walking normally again and doing regular activities again. And unlike a more serious knee operation like ACL reconstruction surgery, and I've had two of those in the past, it's it's not it's not a good time. Um this meniscectomy was is a much more simple operation. They usually only take about 15 to 20 minutes to get done. But back to my surgery. So on the morning of surgery, I had a lot of um I had a lot of gas. I'm not sure why I had it. Maybe I ate too much the night before, even though I stopped eating before 10 p.m. But when I got to the surgical center, I went to the bathroom twice and I kept having all these terrible thoughts in my head that there's some sort of accident that might happen during my operation. Thankfully, that didn't happen, but that was the main thought going in my head, going on in my head in preparation for surgery. When it was actually time to head to surgery, a nurse came into the prep area. Um, she, she got me standing up, she took my IV in her hand, and she led me down a very, very cold corridor to the operating room. And as soon as I set foot in that operating room, it was even more cold than the corridor. Um, I started shivering immediately. Everything looked so intense in the operating room. Um, I wish I had my GoPro attached to my chest at that point so I could show you exactly what I was experiencing in that moment. The first thing they did was they got me set up on the operating table. They strapped me in uh, at my chest and then they put my arms out wide like this and strapped my, my arms down. And the last thing I remember is one of the nurses asking me what I do for work. And then I guess everything went black. I honestly do not remember waking up. And apparently I woke up before I was 100% conscious because looking back at my camera roll, there are videos and photos of myself very dazed and confused post-surgery that I do not remember taking. And looking it back at some of my text messages, um, I definitely sent a few, they're not drunk texts. I don't know what you would call them, high texts very days texts. There are some interesting texts in my text message history um, from after I came out of surgery. This is a text I sent to my cousin whose birthday was on February 1st, my day of surgery. And as you can see, I wasn't in my 
highest. Well, I guess I wasn't in my highest state of mind. I wasn't in my most normal state of mind. After I got settled, the doctor came in and he told me the surgery went well. Everything was a success. And then he connected this app to my phone. Now, he didn't connect it. He downloaded an, a an app on my phone that is actually something I'm using right now to start my rehab process. After the surgeon left, I had some water. I chilled out for about 30-ish minutes. And then the nurse called my mom and said I was ready to be picked up. And when my mom arrived at the surgical center, the nurse who was with me at the time, she walked me out to the car and that was pretty much it. And at that point it was 9.57 AM. So less than four hours from when I arrived at the surgical center. So it was like literally me in and out, a very, very quick process. Oh yeah, and the crazy thing about a meniscectomy is that you can weight bear directly after the operation. As you can obviously see, I was walking literally minutes, or not minutes, but hours, not hours, maybe one hour after being under the knife with these giant metal chopstick-like things sticking into my leg. It's 10.09 a.m. on surgery day, which means it's less than four hours than when I arrived at the surgical center. I talked to the doctor after surgery and everything went well and there will most likely be a quick recovery, which I'm very thankful for. So now what happens next is just a bunch of rehab and taking care of my knee long term so I can continue doing the activities that I fell in love with last year. So fingers crossed that this is just the first step to a very, very quick and healthy recovery. When I got home, I had zero pain. I wasn't shocked because I didn't have much pain after my two ACL surgeries, but still it was a nice surprise to not really deal with any excruciating pain or even mild pain after having had surgery. I had to make a quick trip upstairs to gather some of my stuff, my, my laptop, my chargers, uh, because I was going to station myself in the basement for the day. By the time I was down in the basement, just relaxing, it was about noon and I just hung out for the rest of the day. I watched some Netflix. I planned some future YouTube content. I made an IG reel. I watched this pretty cool movie. I also watched the newest episode of Euphoria, um, season two, episode four. Shout out Euphoria, except Nate. I was actually scrolling on Twitter while I was watching Euphoria, and as this scene of Cassie was on screen, this um, photo of Cassie in that same exact scene came up on my Twitter feed. I thought that was interesting. I also took a few gingerly walks to the bathroom. As you can see, I'm weight bearing. It's not the most comfortable thing ever, but it felt really good being able to walk on my own on the same day I had surgery. And after hanging in the basement literally all day and evening, I headed upstairs for bed. In all honesty, I don't think the surgery could have gone any better and I'm usually an optimistic person, so this isn't, isn't surprising for me to say, but still, I was able to wait bare, I did not have any pain whatsoever, and the day of surgery, once I arrived back home from the surgical center, it was a comfortable day. So I'm very happy with how it went. Obviously, I still have a few months of PT to go through in order to get back to my full healthy self, but I'm, really happy and relieved that everything went so smoothly. Thank you for watching. I truly appreciate it. Please one like and two subscribe. I'll be posting weekly videos premiering on Sundays. So I will see you then. And um, yeah, peace.